Hi everyone! In this video, pag-aralan naman natin yung pagkuha ng arithmetic means ng arithmetic sequence. Pag sinabi natin arithmetic means, ay yun yung mga terms between ng first term at saka ng last term. For example, sa given na arithmetic sequence na 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, so ang first term natin ay yung 1, yung last term natin ay yung 5. And then, yung tatlong terms na nasa gitna nila ay yun yung tatlong arithmetic mean. At ayun yung mga hahanapin natin sa mga problems. First example, what is the arithmetic mean between 70 and 80? Kung i -re write natin yan, 70, blank, and then 80. Meaning to say, isang arithmetic mean lang or isang term lang yung hahanapin natin na nasa gitna ng 70 at ng 80. At kapag isang arithmetic mean lang yung hinahanap doon sa problem, ang kailangan lang natin gawin ay i-add lang yung first term at yung last term and then i-divide lang natin sa 2. So, 70 plus 80 and then divided by 2. Ganun lang kasimple. So, 70 plus 80, that is 150. And then divided by 2, that is 75. And that is the arithmetic mean. Ngayon, kung hinahanap din sa inyo yung common difference ng arithmetic sequence natin, ang kailangan nyo lang gawin ay mag-subtract ng dalawang magkasunod na terms. So, dito sa 70, 75, and 80, pag-subtract natin yung 75 at saka yung 70. So, 75 minus 70, that is 5. Mapapansin nyo rin naman, parehas lang siya dun sa kabila na 80 minus 75, that is 5. So, obviously, ang common difference ng arithmetic sequence natin ay 5. Next example, what is the arithmetic mean between 42 and 50? So, same thing ng ginawa natin doon sa kanina kasi isang arithmetic mean lang naman yung hinahanap sa atin. Ang kailangan lang natin gawin ay ipag-add at i-divide sa 2 yung dalawang terms. So, 42 plus 50, that is 92. And then, divided by 2, that is 46. So, ayun na yung arithmetic mean nila. Kaya ang arithmetic sequence natin ay 42, 46, and 50. And then, to get the common difference, so, pag subtract lang natin yung 46 tsaka 42, may kita nyo, that is 4. Then, yung 50 minus 46, that is 4 din. Kaya, ang common difference nila ay 4. Next naman, Insert 3 arithmetic means between 23 and 35. So, tatlong arithmetic means na yung hinahanap sa atin. So, kung i-rewrite natin, 23, and then ito yung tatlong terms na hahanapin natin, and then 35. Kapag kaganyan na at tatlong arithmetic means na yung hinahanap natin, ang kailangan na natin gawin dyan ay hanapin yung common difference. And that is by applying the formula of arithmetic sequence. So, una muna natin gawin, identify muna natin yung given, kung ano nga ba yung a sub 1, yung a sub n, at saka yung n. So, ang a sub 1 natin, yung first term, that is 23. a sub n natin, or yung last term, that is 35. And then, ang number of terms natin, so, mapapansin nyo naman, mula sa 23 hanggang 35, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we have 5 terms. So, yan yung n natin. And then, yung d, that is unknown, kasi yun nga yung hahanapin natin. So, apply na natin yung formula. So, rewrite muna natin. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 multiplied by D. So, substitute natin. Yung A sub n magiging 35. Yung A sub 1 magiging 23. And then, yung n natin, that is 5. And, and then, yung D, still D kasi wala pa nga tayong value. Then, after nyan, unahin muna natin yung nasa grouping symbols. So, yung 5 minus 1. So, 35, kopyahin muna natin. Yung 23, kopyahin muna din natin. Then, 5 minus 1, that is 4. And then, D. Kasi wala pa tayong value ng D. And then, yung 4 at saka D, multiply na natin. Kasi, multiplication naman sila since magkadikit. So, 4 times D, that is 4D. So, babagsak tayo sa 35 is equal to 23 plus 4D. And then, di ba Kapag hahanapin natin yung value ng letter D or yung common difference, kailangan ang goal natin, maiwan mag-isa yung letter D sa isang side and then kailangan sa kabilang side, nandun yung value niya. So, kailangan magawa natin ng paraan na mawala lahat ng kasama ng D dito sa kabilang side. So, ang kasama ng D natin ay 23. May 23 dun sa side niya. So, para matanggal natin yung 23, kailangan mag-subtract tayo ng 23 both sides para matanggal yung 23 kasi magiging 0 na siya eh. So, subtract tayo ng 23 both sides. So, makakancel na natin yung 23. And then, sa kabila, 35 minus 23, that is 12. And then, sa kabila, ang matitira, 4D. 
Then, after nyan, yung D, meron pa rin siyang kasama na numerical coefficient na 4. At para matanggal natin yan, i-divide naman natin both sides by 4. So, makakansin na natin yung 4. Ayan na, natira na si D. Ito na yung goal natin. And then, 12 divided by 4, that is 3. So, ito na yung common difference natin. So, yung common difference na yan, ayan yung gagamitin natin para makuha natin yung tatlong arithmetic means na hinahanap. Ang gagawin lang natin dyan, mag a lang tayo ng mag a at ng mag a kasi gano'n naman yung purpose ng common difference. So, dito, ipakita ko muna yung mano-mano. So, ito yung first term natin, di ba, yung 23. And then, para makuha natin yung kasunod na term, di ba, mag a tayo ng 3 kasi yung common difference nila. So, 23 plus 3, that is 26. And then, yung 26 naman, mag a ka rin ng 3 para makuha mo yung kasunod na term. And that is 29. And then, yung 29, mag a ka rin ng 3 and that is 32. And then, mapapansin nyo, 32 plus 3, that is 35, ay ina yung last term natin. Kaya, yung tatlong arithmetic means natin ay 26, 29, at saka 32. Last example, insert 4 arithmetic means between 75 and 55. So, i-rewrite muna natin, 75, and then may apat daw na arithmetic means na hahanapin natin, and then 55 yung last term natin. So, identify muna natin yung given kasi nga kailangan natin hanapin yung common difference. So, A sub 1, yung first term natin ay 75. Ang A sub N natin, or yung last term, that is 55. Ang N natin ay, mula sa 75 hanggang 55, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that is 6 terms. And then, yung D, that is unknown. So, apply na natin yung formula ng arithmetic sequence. So, substitute na natin. Yung A sub N natin, that is 55. Yung A sub 1 natin, that is 75. Yung N natin, 6. At yung D ay mananatiling D. Then, after nyan, simplify na natin. Unahin ulit natin yung nasa loob ng parentheses. So, kopyahin muna natin yung 55, yung 75. And then, 6 minus 1, that is 5. And then, i-multiply na natin kay D kasi ganun din naman yung kalalabasan. I-multiply lang natin. Kaya, 5D na siya. Then, after nyan, ganun ulit. Eliminate lang natin lahat ng kasama ng letter D. Unahin muna natin yung 75 na kasama niya sa side niya. So, para ma-eliminate natin yung 75, so, mag-subtract lang din tayo ng 75 both sides. Kasi ganun sa equation ko, nang ginawa mo sa kabila, ganun din yung gagawin mo sa kabila. So, ito na, nakasa na natin yung 75. And then, 55 minus 75, that is negative 20. And then, 5D yung natira sa kabila. Then, after nyan, para ma-eliminate naman si 5D, divide both sides by 5 naman tayo. So, nakasa na natin yung 5. And then, yung letter D na lang natira, then, negative 20, negative ha, divided by 5, that is negative 4. Ayan, kaya kailangan alam nyo pa rin yung rule sa integers. So, negative 4 na yung common difference natin. So, para makuha natin yung apat na arithmetic means, mag a lang tayo ng mag a ng negative 4. So, since 75, eto na yung first term natin. So, 75 plus negative 4, that is 71. So, ito yung second term natin. And then, 71 plus negative 4, that is 67. And then, 67 plus negative 4, that is 63. Then, 63 plus negative 4, that is 59. So, ito na yung apat na arithmetic means natin.